Hey guys, as many of you know, I recently traveled to Memphis, Tennessee to create my own Sensible Mama custom blend of ugly mug coffee. So today I'm going to bring you along on a little travel vlog so you can see just how that went. All right, I'm officially getting on the road. I am so ready to go. Uh, GPS says that it is a five and a half hour trip, so wish me luck on that one. I'm gonna stop and get some coffee first because I'm exhausted. What is that? But nothing's gonna get me down today because we're finally hitting the road and um, yeah, it's gonna be a good trip, so let's go. All right, well, I just made my first rest stop. I made it about an hour and a half, which I think is pretty okay. Um, but I needed to go ahead and pee and get some food. And the best place to stop that was near the interstate was McDonald's, which I'm not proud of, but it's fast and, um, you know, it's there. And it's right by the interstate, which is good. And we really can't beat their french fries, but I made a, a mistake. They have this new kiosk, like you can go and just check out at the kiosk and then go pick up your food, which I thought was cool. But somehow, like, I don't know what I did. I must have accidentally pushed the cheeseburger button like several times because I just have a bag full of cheeseburgers. <laughs> I, I have at least five cheeseburgers. Yeah, one, five, I think five, hard to tell. Um, so I'm probably set for the rest of my drive, which is a good thing. I still don't know how I did it though. And the kiosk didn't have any way to go back. And the worst part was like, I knew what was happening as this was going on. Cause like it was making me change my, um, like what, what, what's the word? Why is condolences coming to my mind? Not condolences, condiments. There we go. I had to specify what condiments I wanted. And then I realized there were like several more cheeseburgers, but there was no way to go back. So I like, as it was happening to me, I was just like, ah, I have to check out with this. And I mean, I guess I could have just gone to the counter and been like, hey, I screwed up, but I was like embarrassed and awkward. And I just, I just got all the cheeseburgers and ran back out to my car. So I am cheeseburger rich. And now I'm starting the rest of my trip. I am still four hours and 20 minutes out from my destination. I'm gonna get in around six o'clock local time. So I'm going to go ahead and get back on the road and I guess I'll check back in with you later. Well, my gas tank and my bladder were having a standoff as to which one would cave first and it turned out to be my gas tank. So I'm just here getting, get wow that was fast. Holy smokes, uh, my, my tank just filled up in like two minutes. So this gas station I'm at doesn't look super clean, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So be beggars can't be choosers, is that, yeah. I'm gonna run in here and use the bathroom and then get back on the road. Let's see, what, um, how far have we gone? It is 3.48. GPS says I have two hours and 26 minutes left and I will be into Memphis at 6.15. So I've lost a little bit of time with all of these stops, but you have to have gas and you have to not pee in your pants, uh, as my son Roman will tell you. So I'm gonna go in the bathroom and then get back on the road. I'm playing games in my head. I arrived pretty much on schedule and got myself all settled into the room. I had a few plans with some friends who live in town and after seeing them for a little bit, I crashed because I knew I had a busy day the next day. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone for the rest of this because um, once again, I failed to bring a spare battery. I don't know how I do this. I, the best laid plans still fail. I had it sitting right next to my bag before I left the house 
and with all the chaos that was going on with my children, um, I just left it behind. So here we are on the phone with terrible auto audio. Um, and then I guess I'll just be heading downtown to um, start my work day with Ugly Mug. I'm super excited. I already spoke to them. We have a plan for how this is gonna go today. So uh, I just gotta get some breakfast. I'm starving. I pretty much had to scrap all of the audio from all the footage I got from inside of this factory because it was just so loud, there were so many machines going that it pretty much drowned out everything that was said during this tour of the factory. So I'm going to voice over it because I want you to see how cool this place was and I want you to actually know what you're looking at. This is how the coffee actually arrives at the factory. It comes in these amazing, I guess canvas or burlap bags. You can see this coffee here was from Mexico. There was just bags from all over the world here and it was so fascinating to see that this is how they arrived there. This was probably the coolest thing in the entire factory. This thing holds 500 pounds of coffee beans that get sucked up from this little area right here up into the tube in the top of the machine and it's transported to somewhere else in the factory. Once the coffee is all processed, it comes to this machine where it's automatically put into a bag and sent down the conveyor belt to move on to its next location for customization. After it comes off of the conveyor belt, two employees work together to put all of the custom labels on the bag. This machine is where K-Cups are made, and to be honest with you, this one impressed me so much. To see how much technology comes together to create one K-Cup, and to have one individual running the whole process was just so fascinating to me. This is where we actually spent the majority of our time. This is where new blends and flavors are thought of and created and blended all together. These are two giant mixers, one of which is actually a cement mixer, which is pretty cool. Um, but here is where we actually began putting together the flavors for the blend that we're gonna have at the Sensible Mama. So I'm not going to show you how we actually put together the flavor because that's going to be a little bit proprietary, but I do want to show you how we went about actually creating the flavor of the coffee. So this little machine here is actually turning the coffee grounds round and round, and then we're adding in the flavor so that it gets really mixed in very well with all of the coffee grounds for a nice, smooth, and consistent flavor throughout the coffee. Once the coffee is processed and flavored, it moves on to the storage part of the facility where all of the pre-made coffee goes to wait until it's ready to be shipped out. So that's basically it for this factory tour. Um, I, I didn't show you any of the stuff about us actually picking the custom blend for the Sensible Mama, but I will be making an announcement about that really soon and I'm super, super excited. So now that it's all chosen and ready to go, I just have to get prepared to launch this new flavor and I absolutely can't wait. Well guys, that's it for me. Um, again, I'm sorry about just all of the technical issues once again with this vlog. Who knows if I'm even gonna upload this at this point. But I did find the perfect coffee blend that I know you guys are gonna love. And so we're gonna be working now on getting all the logoing and packaging ready for this blend. And I'll hopefully have it out by Mother's Day. That's my goal. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to get some food and put some gas in my tank and I'm gonna head home. Love ya, mean it, always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.